78% of suicide rates worldwide are men, what can we do to help them? I'm guessing nothing can be done, based on a dozen that I have known personally over the past 40 years. They said nothing to me that would have led me to believe anything was wrong. Other friends have said the same about these people. One of my co-workers was apparently suffering from PTSD, and only his family knew it. He left work at lunch one day, went home and shot himself. None of us at work suspected a thing. There weren't any moments I could think back to and say I saw any signs. How do you help? I wish I knew. Home by 9.ca It's a friend's clothing brand that is a focus on donating money to combat mental health. He struggled with issues and has shared his story. But he wants to give back. And the clothes fit great for the price. Deleted. Don't take their kids from them in a divorce. Not be so damned backwards about gender expectations. I'd be curious to see how this breaks down in terms of the function of the behavior. Do most of these revolve around mental illness, substance abuse, etc? Allow men to express emotion, don't make it a social taboo for them to do so. I've witnessed a disgusting amount of men in my life speak negatively of depression, therapy, PTSD, doing things deemed girly, and so on. These men have boxed in themselves and every unfortunate male child they've come into contact with. Be the male in your group that doesn't tolerate that crap from the others. You've got to advocate in your spaces for the respect and care you deserve. Don't let other dudes put down the ideas of compassion and seeking help. It's a change that takes a while to put into effect, but it is worth it. I see a lot of people talking about this from the perspective of a woman telling somebody to man up, but growing up and to this day I primarily see this rhetoric from men continue to enforce that lonely idea of manhood on those around them. In patriarchal societies, men have supposed to have been the stronger of the sexes and be able to quietly deal with anything. This is ridiculous. The women's movement tried to change this and acknowledge that we are all individuals with our own issues and problems. We need to encourage men to seek professional help. How many men rarely even visit physicians on a regular basis? Much of what we go through in life is temporary, and if we can get through this period, life can get better. We also need to continue to try to change society so that everyone is understanding and capable of providing help when needed. I'm personally convinced that our hormones play a role at different stages of our lives and if we know what is happening, we can deal with it better. What could be done is to stop the stereotypes that men do not cry, that they must provide, and must have a great salary, or compare them with other men that although many times one does not notice you can put great pressure on that person, consciously or unconsciously, also many cases that occur are about defamation, many teenagers are defamed and by the pressure they end up committing suicide and also many teenagers commit suicide because of the pressure that education puts on, to think that they must work hard for mediocre work, some whose parents don't allow studying the ones they like, there is much to take into account, but both men and women have many things that affect them negatively and occur more often than it seems memes. Lots and lots of memes. 12 terabytes of memes. I have anxiety, therapist diagnosed but not officially noted on anything, and get paranoid easily, if I need to cry I will. I haven't actually since my friend died one week before Christmas. Brought back memories of my aunt who died of breast cancer on December 1, 2014 and 001 and my great aunt that died after getting a lung drained and having complications. That was 2017. Im 15 rn and that is sitting on me. I haven't cried in basically three months. Last week I thought maybe things would be better without me but I just wrote a diet plan and I'm going to work on losing weight to go hiking in the Alps in Switzerland in the summer. Drop the stereotype that men can't show emotions. I will cry when I want to. I have mock exams in two weeks and I need a hug. Why can't we cry in public? I'm a root cause guy. And right now the two biggest threats I see where male suicide is set to skyrocket is income inequality slash oligarchy gaining more control and the coming takeover of automation AI with no plan on what to do about the loss of 40 to 50% of jobs. FYI, 
Despite what you heard, white collar will get hit harder. The current suicide rate is nothing compared to what it'll be in the next 15 years if things don't change. I wouldn't be surprised if it became so common that the laws on suicide relax. Not saying we'll have suicide booths, but someone in the tech industry may start working on it. Domestic abuse centers that didn't only allow women would be great considering the amount of men and women who face abuse is marginally different yet almost all support networks are for women only. Not protest when we discuss them. Looking at you women's rights activists. Enough with the boys don't cry, be a man shit. Guys are allowed to have and express emotions, too. They are allowed to cry. They are allowed to not be okay. Toxic masculinity is such a huge contributor to mental health problems for guys. Shake the men don't cry and suck it up mentality, should also take claims of sexual harassment and are backslash pay of men seriously. Apparently legalizing gay marriage makes suicide rates drop so we can start there. I feel like we are often seen as the dangerous sex, and in order not to sound like a threat, men would rather don't do anything than risking to make someone uncomfortable or feel in danger. Which conducts to avoid socialization and loneliness, and in the end suicide. It's not the only reason to that many death but a part of it. Actually know where you want to eat when asked. We need to, as a society, stop treating men like disposable resources. That's what it'll take to reduce the suicide rate. A top telling men that they're responsible for everything wrong in society. Stop treating men like just because they have a penis it makes them a potential rapist. Don't disrespect men's rights and men's mental health, and abandon the double standard where violence against a man is treated as comedic. It's hard to take arguments about the patriarchy seriously when men's lives and well-being simply aren't valued by the broader society. Actually comfort them instead of saying man up. Stop telling them to man up and deal with it. Teach kids how to properly and healthily share emotions and feelings. Tell feminists to chill the fuck out. Destroy feministic ideas. Not say man up but instead talk to them. It's called human decency people are fucking retarded. Stop making mental illness a taboo subject and telling men to tough it out. This is only a small part of the problem, but improving, expanding, and fighting for fathers' rights. One way is to acknowledge female on male abuse and to help male abuse victims. Allow men to be themselves without so much pressure to be a man. There is no one definition on how anyone should be so we all need to just let people be. Men don't have to be tough, they have the right to cry or be emotional. I believe that men doesn't express their feelings because of the fear of stigmas and that is affecting us in a bad way. Let men be sad slash emotional. Not tell them they are a bitch for having feelings. Stop telling them not to cry. Maybe stop belittling them and calling them weak for showing emotion? If someone is in distress to the point where they're acting out openly, calling them a pussy won't help at all. Be supportive. Most of us don't do our best to listen to others, women are generally better at that, when experiencing heartache other men normally feel uncomfortable listening, I know because it happened to me when my little girl died, even among close friends men don't handle well a man crying, even though when under the circumstances could be a very natural and healthy thing. I guess the reason the majority of suicides are men is because they tend to keep a lot of it inside, when for a woman is generally easier to express pain and heartache, is not frowned upon. When you ask them to open up and share your inner feelings and demons, don't demonize them afterwards. I've lost a girl I loved because of that and our close friends because I confided my dread about her to them. Sometimes men need a shoulder to cry on or a rock go lean on as well. Stop shaming feelings. We all cry, we all get upset, we all are human. For me it's a society problem. Men are seen slash see themes of as they have to tough through problems and to not show weakness slash emotions. This attitude has to be replaced by opening up and talking about stuff and emotions. So shout out to the men, I'm one myself btw, open up guys. Men cry too probably get lost but this is a throwaway. I'm a medic by trade and I work all over the country, 
I do a lot of prelims and general checkup medicals, a lot of triage in A&D, every time I'm in prelims they are only 15 minutes appointments, I have so many men aged 25 to 40 who are lonely. They don't tell me they are but you can see it, they talk to me about their house, general guy stuff. It's a real shame, it's so hard to write down in the consultation as an extra observation I've made. I always tried to get them in with a doc for a further checkup with a mental health performer for them to fill out. Had patients break down crying in normal checkups. It's hard for a lot of people, though I find the men need more guidance and I'm not going to call them out for it, even if it's a small hospital room. More awareness, I know we have made leaps and bounds since 5 tenths years ago where the whole macho thing was still full on. I've had my fair share of suicides from patients, saw a dude come in who I did a prelims on two weeks ago, happy as ever just another you've turned 35 congratulations let's check on your health checkup he died 35 years and 62 days old. It's unfair because I never would have knew. Bothers me a little maybe if looked a little more into it, you know dug a bit deeper? Just another day. On a side note, I used to walk past this guy's house every time I went home always alone on the couch with a small TV, he was an older bloke no curtains. He never saw me but I was always heading to the shop for a crate or something and he would be there, for months I walked past never had the courage to knock and door and ask him if he was alright. Christmas just been his house was for sale, nothing inside that window except that weird soap stuff they put on it so you can't see it. Only mentioning this because I saw an old dude walking a baby in a pram and I thought it was kinda sad reminded me of him. Weird world we live in, but I handle death in my own way and am alright but it's still sad nonetheless.